wearing something that's not a hoodie. I, it's still me, I promise. Oh my god, that's crazy. Shut <laughs> up. So this morning, it is Chelsea's day off. Say hello, Chelsea. Hello, Chelsea. No. Anyway, so it's Chelsea's day off, and today I have booked my first appointment because we obviously we're pregnant. <laughs> so crazy. Um, so we booked our first doctor's appointment just to go. I believe we need to get some blood tests done and stuff. Um, probably A, to confirm that we're pregnant. B, also make sure everything's still good. And then from there, I think that they're gonna tell us all the different appointments and stuff that we need. So yeah, we're gonna go today, get the basics done, just like get the ball rolling. And then that way we can figure out like if we need to pre-book stuff in advance, if that makes sense for like ultrasound. I know we're a little far out from that still, but I just need to know like, do we need to book that now? Or is that something we book like the week of? All that kind of stuff, ask all the questions. Also right now, the fetus is the size of one single poppy seed so Nat made me buy a packet of poppy seeds because we thought it was gonna be a great idea to like compare the size of it to like a fruit but um, because it's so small it's only one poppy seed and I don't know how we're gonna take a photo with that so. well, we'll figure it out we'll figure it out it'll look cool because we want to make sure we like document this as much as possible so that we can look back on it so the baby can look back on it and I think it's, it's such an exciting time so you guys are seeing this a lot later obviously than um we filmed this but we kind of wanted to take you guys on the journey as well because it's a very exciting time and you guys are like our second family so it feels like it makes sense you know okay yeah, yeah. no i'm fine like, i'm fine with it i just don't like want to look at it <laughs> Four big tubes. Two big, two small tubes. Oh, two big, two small. You so did be well. Back in a couple of days, is that right? Yeah, right tomorrow. June 4th. Oh, it's an urgent one. For beta head syndrome. So, guys, it is. Technically, okay, technically I'm four weeks pregnant at the moment. Say hello. Hello. So we were a bit late to the um, taking an image of the baby at its first comparative size, which was week three, um, which is the size, size of a poppy seed, <laughs> to which Chelsea that is the poppy I seed. I can't see up. There it is. Mm. You raise a good point. I didn't realize it was that small. You did not just eat my baby. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to take a photo with one poppy seed? Maybe we just take a picture like that. I don't know. Oh yeah, with our rings? Yeah, we'd just be holding it. Yeah. So it'll just be a little bit different for the first couple, you know? Okay. All right. So this is our attempt at uh, taking a photo of a poppy seed. Can you guys even see that? Oh, there we go. Zoomed in for the viewers. So we've got our little poppy seed baby there. Oh, there's me. <laughs> um, and then we took a couple of that. And then we flipped over to trying to take some of these cute pictures. Oh, that one's all right. Yeah, yeah, these are cute. These are cute. So we're gonna do that every month, or every time there's a new size of fruit, um, we're gonna be doing that. And then this is the sesame seed baby that we've currently got. Yeah, so that one's a little bit bigger. Yeah, so that's currently where we're at, which is crazy. So we're at four weeks right now. Yeah, but we will be taking the um the same photo with the kissy on the belly. Yeah. Towards the end of the this week. Yes. Yes. But didn't you want to show? Oh yes, and then. We made sure that we took a photo holding our little positive. That's actually really nice. I want to post it on Instagram. <laughs> Not now Not you are. Not now. Not now. There's no way she's just letting you practice swaddling. There's just no way. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you are swaddled. Oh, you, you. <laughs> oh, good baby. <laughs> So here's me after stream. I was um, going to go brush my teeth and all that good stuff. And I'm like, let's just, we're at four weeks, five days. I'm like, let's just look at my belly and see if there's been any, there's been nothing today. But today, it is so slight. It is so, so slight. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like, there's like a shape. I don't know, I don't know if you can see it on camera at all. You can't. Oh, it's so it's, hard because like. It's like. Right here. Yeah. I don't know if the camera is really picking up it, on it that like, much. It's like, it's the shape. My stomach is pretty like flat, like generally speaking, but now it kind of, if you get the right angle, it goes kind of like this and then like a little bit out like that. So kind of like more like a point, if that makes sense. I don't know if you can even see it. You can, you can see it right here. Yeah, the, there's the point, man. Hey, what a milf. We're making our booking for our first ultrasound. Yes, we are. But hey, she confirmed that we're pregnant, so that's exciting. Like, I know. Like, I knew I was, but like, it just kind of like confirmed it, you know? Hearing it from a doctor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we went to the doctors this morning. That's why we're making the um, ultrasound appointment now. Hi, um, I need to make my well, an ultrasound appointment for my first scan. Um, and I was wondering if you guys have any availability on the 18th of December. How far along are we now? Um, I, 
uh, what did three, she say? It was like three, three to four weeks. So we're quite early on. Okay. So due date is the 17th of the 7th next year. So we're a little while away. So we're looking at yeah. doing it on that like 18th of December if possible. Around lunchtime I can do? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so I can do a 12.30. Yeah, so let's do that. Drive at 12.15. 15, yeah, that's perfect. This appointment's um, usually booked in for half an hour. Alright, perfect, no worries. And for this one, um, there is some water preparations that's needed. Yep. So, an hour before the appointment at 11.30, you'll need to drink 800 mils of water and just hold on to that. Okay, perfect, no worries. And um, is my wife allowed to come? Like yeah, in, so into we the room? Only, for these kind of appointments, we can, we can allow um, one other person to attend oh. with you. All right, perfect. Yeah, all right, not a problem. Okay, you have a good day. Uh, you too. Bye. Catch you. Bye. Bye. Done. Oh my god, we uh, have our first ultrasound booked. That's crazy. You're going to get to see it. You're going to get to see I it. I know. That's wild. That's crazy. Oh my lord. Oh. That's crazy, bro. Okay, well. All right, we got to remember that. In day. a month's time, 18th of December. That's like a week before Christmas. What a great Christmas gift. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright guys, so it's been a little while since I've checked in with you guys. Right now, as per my pregnancy app, I am five weeks and two days pregnant. Which means the baby is starting to look at something like this. Which is crazy because it's like not like just like a circle shit like cell anymore. It's like... Oh, wait, I can hear it. Oh, I full hear it. So I would say my experience so far being pregnant has actually been totally fine. Like I haven't run into any sort of major issues. The worst thing I've had is uh, I was constipated for four days, which is pretty standard. That happens when you are pregnant because of the rising progesterone levels and stuff like that in your body. Uh, but I ended up having just some whole grain toast and stuff like that and it definitely helped get everything moving. I literally haven't had issues with that since. I haven't had any issues with skin. I know a lot of people in early pregnancy get like rashes and stuff like that. I haven't experienced that yet. I'm not saying that I won't experience it, uh, but currently five weeks in I haven't really experienced much in terms of like skin issues. I also haven't had any morning sickness yet, which I'm very thankful for. I'm counting my blessings because I know it's very, very likely that I'm going to experience it at some point or another. Being five weeks, I think the most common time for it to start is about the six week mark. So check in next week because I, I might be throwing up. Who knows? Who knows? But at the moment, feeling all right. I'm kind of feeling like the glow. I guess one other thing that I have noticed a little bit more is that I'm a little more tired when it comes to like the end of the day and stuff. I kind of just want to throughout the day want to rest a little bit more and then by the evening I'm just absolutely wrecked. Um, and then also sometimes I get like really really hungry but I feel like that, I don't know, it's obviously going to come with it but it hasn't been anything major that's like affected my life in any major way yet. Um, so I do know that like morning sickness, the extra tiredness and all that stuff is still yet to come. We're still very very early days but I am very thankful that five weeks in my life really has not significantly changed in any way. I'm still doing my work. I'm still seeing friends. I'm still doing normal life stuff. I don't feel overly affected by it as of yet, which is good. Like I'm obviously going to take the most of this time because things will change. Things will get a little more harder to work with. Um, but yeah, I'm just thankful for how it is now. Also, actually an update. So Chelsea and I, at this point, we are thinking that it might be a girl. I don't know why. Like the whole way through, like before we were pregnant, when we first got pregnant, I was like, oh yeah, it's going to be a boy. It's going to be a boy. It's going to be a boy. But the last probably two weeks or so, so I just have a feeling like this overwhelming feeling that's gonna be a girl and I don't know if that's because I re remembered that like in my family girls always like are born first like that's just something that happens with my side of the family so I'm like maybe that's why I think it's gonna be a girl but yeah I honestly thought I was always gonna have a son first but for some reason I now think that we might be having a daughter but I, I don't know and that's just theory and we can we can follow this throughout and we'll see because we're gonna keep it to be a surprise so, so on the day that the baby is born is the day that we will find out what we are having or what we've had uh, so I guess we're just going to document throughout like what we think it might be and whether any of our intuition actually means anything or I don't know. So we are actually one third of the way through the first trimester already, which is absolutely crazy. I think this is going to fly a lot quicker than uh, we originally anticipated. So let's do it. I'm going to go buy what to expect when you're expecting because I realize I don't have that. I got to get educated. So Nat's just quickly brushing her hair before we go in for our doctor's appointment. And that's that on running late. Maybe not. Thank you. 
So, what are we doing? <gasps> okay, wait, what's the date today? Let's confirm it this. It is the 18th of December. It is the Friday. 18th of December. It's a Friday. <laughs> are you feeling okay? I'm excited. So, so, about a month ago, we filmed footage of us making an appointment, which you guys would have already seen. Today's the day that we're finally doing it. So, it's been a bit of a, like a month and a half. Yeah, so we're at 10 weeks now. 10 weeks! Pregnant! Uh, so, today is going to be our first official ultrasound. Uh, you are so, so excited! So we, get to, so, we get to go and see the baby and see say hey and well our I'm, baby won't wait back yet no no you better or else it's gonna get grounded <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so we get to go see the baby today which is very exciting so hopefully we'll get some really cool like scan pictures which we can show you yeah. um i really gotta pee but i also gotta continue drinking water so it's this but we also have to go in because we have to be there at quarter past 12 and it is 12 13 and 50 seconds 51 52 all right we gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> so we are back we couldn't uh film in there but um <laughs> Baby is doing little backflips in there. Like it was, uh, it, it was waving when we first yeah. saw it. There's just one, by the way. Just, yeah, just, just one. To the room. No twins, no and then, Yeah, and then the the, the arms going like this, like waving at us. Like we didn't get that on video, unfortunately. Yeah, but, but then afterwards we got this. So the baby is just out there, it's like wriggling the whole time. Apparently, isn't it the crazy thing though that like this is our baby? Yeah, and this is our. I child. know, and it's like it had like the heartbeat, and like you could see like the face and stuff, oh my which is gosh. crazy. That is like super crazy because it like makes it way more real. But it's weird how much it's moving in there. Obviously, because it's so small, I can't feel it like at all. Yeah, is it's. it's is freaking insane like oh we're just waiting so we can get the um photos and videos uh, delivered like sent to us so it's all virtual apparently yeah so. yeah so they didn't let us um they didn't let us have our phones or cameras in there that's why we couldn't take any photos or anything mm -hmm. um but they sent it send it to us and the moment they do we're gonna go get them printed and then include it to our family's christmas presents so then they can open it and be like I don't think we've even shown the vlog what we're giving our parents to tell them. Yeah. The family are gonna find out yes. that there is a bun in the oven, a dancing bun, a, a waving bun. A dancing queen. Yes, I truly. kept calling the baby a boy in there. And I was like, why are you doing that? But then you said it too. Yeah, I did. Weird. What do you think it's gonna be? I don't know, I think, I think a boy first. I didn't, like, when I was looking at the ultrasound, I didn't, like, have the thought about oh that looks like a boy or a girl do you know what i mean oh, I, I didn't even have that thought so it's not developed enough to look yeah. like no no, no 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 but like you know when you get a vibe yeah like yeah obviously like you can't see anything at this stage and we're not gonna find out but like up until like then like i was like oh it's gonna be a girl which is switch from boy back to girl yeah. about a million times but like i didn't have the thought in there while i was looking at it or oh, i have a feeling that it's a blah 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 so but now that we've been saying boy a lot i'm like well maybe that's Something. Maybe it is. I don't know. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day. So today, where are we off to right now? We are off to, like, we have time jumped. Seriously. A lot. Been, yeah. Um, <laughs> it, we, it is now exactly 13 weeks. We've officially ended our first trimester. Which is crazy. Literally so insane. So we've done three months, which is wild, which means the baby's here in six. <laughs> what? And just so you know, today is the 8th of January. Yeah. So I can't remember when we went to get a scan last time. It was about two, three weeks ago. Yeah. So now we're going for the next ultrasound uh, where they do a couple of different tests just to see if there's any risks for anything during the pregnancy or like with the baby itself. Um, and then I need to go get a blood test done to also test for a whole bunch of stuff. It's really fun. So I have a lot of water in my bladder at this exact moment in my life. Like probably about 900 mils to be exact in case any of you guys care. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna get to go see the baby and it's gonna look more like a baby today. And hopefully it's dancing as well because last time it was dancing. Um, yeah. So I wonder what it's gonna be up to today. But maybe sleeping. Maybe sleeping. Last time it was dancing and that didn't have coffee. She didn't have coffee, hasn't had coffee yet today either. Um, but but I just wanna like pre-disclose to anybody who's gonna be like, you can't have coffee while you're pregnant. I have been cleared by my doctor that it is actually okay to have a set, certain, certain amount of caffeine per day and I do go like less than 50% of what is safely allowed during pregnancy. So it is okay. So talk to your midwife or your doctor if you are pregnant or wanting to get pregnant and you still love coffee. Because it is still doable as long as you are being smart, okay? 
but I just need to pre-disclose that. To we're gonna go do that right now. I think we're about like two minutes away from um, the ultrasound. Yes. So yeah, Nat was saying because she had so much water that the baby's just gonna be swimming. Hopefully they're not sleeping because if they're sleeping, they won't give us a video. Yeah, but we'll get photos and we're gonna go print them off after as well. Yeah. So. Wait, the baby has fingernails right now, guys. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Like, and it can do this and it like moves its face right now. Like what? It's full of human in there. That's crazy. So we just finished our ultrasound and everything is good. Everything and looks healthy. good. Oh my gosh. And if you if you've been pregnant before, you under like you know about pregnancies, then you know like 12 and 13 weeks, that's like the safe mark. So um, yeah, after the first trimester, the, the r risk of anything happening drops to like 5%. Like significantly. Is, yeah, definitely. So I'm like, we're good now. Yeah, so if we want to, after I tell my parents, we can start telling friends and stuff like that. But yeah. I want to tell my parents first. Definitely. Um, yeah. And because right now we're living in Canberra, my family is in Sydney. Um, and with everything that's happening with COVID, unfortunately, we're not allowed to travel um, up to Sydney. Or we Which can, we do. We but... We have to quarantine for two weeks on the way home, which is... A lot. It's yeah, a lot. especially when I work full time and we need to rely on that for just mm. household things. Yeah. So I can't afford to take two weeks off. So I have to wait until the borders open back up and I have no idea when that's going to be. I've been waiting for so long to tell them because Nat's family found out Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, yeah. You have to do some other stuff right now, other blood work stuff that Nat was talking about. Um, probably go get a coffee because we haven't had one yet. <laughs> Definitely. Oh man, I've done it again. What? I'm in the wrong lane. I'm about to go. Baby brain. Oh my god. Baby brain. <laughs>